Welcome to this video, where I will show you how to perform the simulation of centrifugal pump impeller in NCCFX. So, in previous video tutorial, we have made the 3D model of impeller of centrifugal pump. And so, now let's open the design modeler with our 3D model of impeller. We have to wait some minutes when the design model will be opened okay so uh, we have the 3d model and for this 3d model uh, we have to make the mesh for next simulation and uh, let's choose the blade and uh, let's choose the export point it will create the points for generation structural hexahedron mesh in turbo grid so let's make the generate and if we will show our export points you can see the our profiles of blade okay the next step will be creation the box at connection the turbo grid box with geometry box so let's open the turbo grid So, oh, and when our impeller will be downloaded in ANSYS Turbo Grid, let's generate the some initial mesh. You can make it use uh, the de uh, deactivate the topology set. It will run the creation of mesh for uh, this impeller. So the mesh will be created automatically because we have the design modeler uh, geometry expert points for this and click OK. And now let's uh, click the generation 3D mesh and here we can see the mesh and you can to open the quality mesh. This quality very important. It have to be more than 15 angle and another very important quality is minimum volume it have to be more than negative volume mm -hmm. and more than zero okay let's change some settings of mesh and we can choose the method for to target passage mesh size let's create the coarse mesh of our impeller click apply and it will make the coarse mesh for impeller with much smaller number of count of uh, elements and how can you see we have the good quality mesh this quality not so important uh, because we have the two this important quality is a good okay so now we can um, show the different type the different uh, part of our 3d model show the how look mesh on this on the inlet how looks the mesh on the hub and how look mesh on blade Here and here so uh, it's very powerful tool for generation mesh it al almost automatically and let's let's um, connect our turbo grid with CFX model model okay let's open the CFX in CFX we have to set up boundary condition For simulation we can to set up boundary condition in turbo mode it will be more faster you can choose this pump machine coordinate axis of rotation 
will be Z axis of rotation and analysis type steady state uh, let's um, choose our domain of rotor and here we have to set the rotation speed of pump impeller rotation speed uh, we defined in pre previous video tutorial it's a log file with this it will be rotation speed 1000 500 rpm and we have to make the another direction of rotation it will be a true rotation direction and let's go to next step it will be the setting the water for simulation fluid reference pressure will be zero we set the absolute pressure because if we have the reference pressure zero the one for inflow we have to set the zero it will be reference pressure absolute absolutely reference plus reference okay plus and so now we have to set the one atmosphere to inlet uh, pressure and so now we have to calculate the mass flow rate because we have the volume flow rate you can to calculate the mass flow rate from volume flow rate by using this expression it will be um, the 200 delete by divide by 3000 it's seconds it will be as a kilograms per second value per pump you can see the values here the units here and uh, we have to uh, set the uh, mass flow rate uh, relative uh, per machine because we have the one boundary and let's set the high resolution and uh, here we have to set the periodic uh, boundary condition rotation period peri periodic boundary condition here okay next step will be set up the wall for our blade hub shroud boundaries and for inlet and outlet it will be pressure and mass flow rate so let's next step and click finish okay so we have set up our simulation boundary condition and let's um, create the expression for calculation the head of pump of impeller let's set the head and here we have to make the expression it will be the averaging of pressure by boundary and uh, we have to make the averaging of total pressure you can find the total pressure in these variables or you can of course to uh, write it manually okay let's try to find it here it will be total pressure in absolutely system of coordinate and you can and you have to f define here the boundary it will be the outlet let's make the copy of this and make the difference between outlet and inlet boundary and we have to divide it by um, density of fluid and acceleration first it will be g, g okay let's apply it and now um let's check this formula we have here we have the outlet but we have to set inlet difference between the outlet and inlet if you can see the inlet this boundary r1 inlet r1 outlet minus r1 inlet it will be the difference between energy total energy and we can to find the head using this formula okay so let's set the max number of iteration then uh, my uh, then more this number it will be more accuracy um, convergence of simulation and let's receive all target okay it will be the something like loss something like accuracy if residuals uh, very small it will be uh, simulation will be more accurately okay 
uh, so let's create the monitor point it will be uh, the monitoring of our head per iteration uh, when we will be will be perform the simulation of our impeller let's set the our expression here click apply monitor point for our value of head and after that let's close our cfx file and open workbench and let's run save the project and run the simulation run simulation open solution row here the important parameter will be number of cores I will be use 8 cores of CPU and initial initialization if you, you have the previous uh, simulation you can use the current solution data but we have the first simulation it will be initial condition will be calculated uh, initialization for first step of iteration in simulation okay so uh, we run the simulation and let's wait some time when we have complete simulation here we have the residuals it uh, will will demonstrate our our accuracy and here we have head value of impeller per iteration so let's wait some time We have 800 iteration and let's create new monitor for head and create this monitor for last 200 iteration you can see that we have almost 30 meters impeller and uh, we have here residuals uh, this is our target residuals it have to be reached by simulation and here we have some value of head okay um, but uh, we don't reach target a value of residuals it's not the last value of head of course but you let's use it this value of head for comparing with our empirical design of impeller pump so uh, let's try to find relative accuracy of our simulation empirical divided by simulation value of head let's use the last iteration let's make some bigger last iteration you can see the our uh, head will be less than impeller which we have to reach by designing and let's find this relative accuracy it will be something like 10 percent of accuracy okay it's not very bad accuracy but if you will continue the simulation i think you can f get the more accuracy accurately um, results uh, you can continue calculation using this row okay let's open the results model you can to generate the different field of pressure field uh, velocity fields and another uh, beautiful pictures let's use the template for generation these pictures will be pump impeller report 
and it will generate the different pictures here okay and it also calculate the head and efficiency of the sample okay it will make it automatically let's open the report viewer And here let's um, choose this tabulated results. Here we have the head, shaft power, we have this value by empirical expression and here we have this shaft power by NC simulation and of course total efficiency also we have here value, uh, pressure distribution per blade and also the different beautiful contours and velocity fields, pressure fields in meridional section. Uh, we also have to use the value to, and we'll change some value of um, head of course because a simulation only impeller not very accurately. Okay, so um, let's close it and save the project. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, goodbye.